Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. Today is December 8th, 2021, and we have a new update today. And here are some highlights of the patch notes. They were just released. We have some new artwork there. Uh, basically, today, the main event is the new Mothman Equinox event. It is a two-part event. The first part takes place at the top of every hour at Point Pleasant, and you just need to go to meet Interpreter Clarence on the rooftop of the Mothman Museum. Museum. I dropped a video this morning showing you the highlights of the event and the rewards. Now, in addition to that, there are legendary high priest cultists scattered all over the map. They're legendary, hunt them down for their legendary loot. Plus, they also have two exclusive clothing options. And today, we also have the Season 7 scoreboard, brand new. So we also have two new allies, Zerzo and Catherine, and they all have different little uh, daily buffs. In addition, we have our first legendary weapon. That's the first thing I want to check out. On rank 2, there is a legendary gamma gun, Zerzo's gamma gun. And what everybody's been waiting for, including me, the quality of life improvements. My goodness, nearby corpse looting and legendary loot sharing. These two things alone are worth waiting for the entire update. You, you play the PTS for like an hour and you can go and just loot on one corpse and pick out and cherry pick out what you want. It's perfect for this event. It's perfect for Rad Rumble. It's an amazing update. Uh, team XP sharing. I think think as long as you're in the line of sight, you should get about 50% of your team's XP. Um, those of us that build a lot in the build menu, there's going to be a new tab. So if you get a new item, say today, that's a camp item and you're struggling, wondering, is it under floor decor, wall decor? Where is it? Is it under whatever? There will be a new tab in the build men menu and something I've been wanting for a long time. We all have these, uh, uh, bunker keys, there's going to be a key ring. So it's going to sort all of your keys under one new little miscellaneous tab so you don't have to scroll through all those keys. Pip-Boy menu color customizations, just go into your settings and you can adjust the sliders in both your uh, the two Pip-Boys, the close-up one that actually shows the Pip-Boy and then the overlay screen. Ammo everywhere. The ammo system has very popular in daily ops because we all like to earn like especially ultrasite ammo uh, so now all existing sources of ammo like containers and creature loot have a chance to drop a small of amount of ammo for your currently equipped uh, weapon sorry it's reading and going public event updates it seems like they've given them a all new balance change and made their timers a little longer or shorter um, it seems that they're trying to fit them within the the 20 minute uh, countdown. So some of them will be a lot shorter and some of them will have some adjustments on what you need to pick up. One of them is Radiation Rumble. To encourage players to participate in ore collection more often, they're lowering the requirements to 5, 15, 30, and 50. And it will have an overall time limit of 8 minutes. So I know it kind of sucks when you're, we're all there to get XP and a couple of legendaries. That has shrunk excuse me, shrunk down. Um, let's see. Pirate Radio. This is new. I love the commercials in the Pirate Radio. That's really cool. So there's a new audio interloper behind this rogue station, and this individual has yet to reveal their identity. And until they do, you can at least enjoy some fresh tunes during your adventures in Appalachia. Uh, bug fixes. Art camp and displays. There was one here... Let's see. The pepper shaker can now be displayed in the heavy weapons stand. Uh, let's see. Camp owners flags. They've done a cleanup on the flags. They're more clean. Floors. Uh, budget consumed by the haunted house floor is now consistent with other types of flooring. And they've reduced the camp budget consumed by many of the large neon signs and billboards. Uh, let's see, reduce the secret stash bookcase to appear even though they're closed. Okay, a few little things there. Ah, waiting, I had this this morning. Attempting to use a power armor station that was built too close to a wall does not result in waiting for response from server. I thought I was going to lose my power armor, but it was okay. Uh, challenges, let's see, they've been fixed, revive players. 
combat, enemy health, Arctos Pharma. Adjusted the spawn location for daily ops inside Arctos Pharma so that players have more room to uh, move around and are like less likely to start the op by accident. That's good. We're always waiting for new teammates to come on in. And let's see, Project Beanstalk. Let's see. Ah, this is one that a lot of us do on a daily basis that have not maxed out your reputation uh, with Foundation is players will now receive the proper amount of reputation with Foundation when choosing to donate the recovered item. So that's good. Uh, a few things uh, for Fallout Worlds. Items. Let's see. Ammo being created. Yes, I do a lot of uh, ammo creation. So yes, they fixed an issue that could result in less ammo uh, being created. Uh, basically, display, display, exploit. Addressed an issue that could be exploited to consume fewer materials when crafting legendary items. That's done. Uh, mods. Uh, invisible. I'm trying to see. Let's see. Ah. Fixed an issue that allowed players to apply a jetpack to excavator power armor. Luckily, I managed to have that plan, um, uh, the Hellcat jetpack. So I managed to get one on my excavator power armor. So that has been patched. Now the power armor, I use targeting HUD, now correctly highlights hostile NPCs who have been passive before the player initiated combat. That's good. Ranged weapons. Uh, bash attacks. I'm just going through this for the first time, like you. Localization. NPC. Settler Forger can once again give daily quests to the camp owner. Yes. Minerva. Item plans and recipes the player has already learned will no longer appear to them as purchasable in Minerva's inventory. Uh, some stability issues. Excellent. We were trying to do this the other day. Friendly fire. Allied NPCs can now be healed using the friendly fire perk. That's always been a little quirky. So there's one right there. And the last one here. We all did this. Mining ultrasite veins at Fisher site no longer causes Scorch to spawn. So there you have it. A quick overview of everything that will be in today's patch. So thanks so very much for watching and I'll see you out in the wasteland.